Well, you know, um, like Dr. Helmsworth, uh, I have uh, for much of my life been an Episcopalian. And I understand that uh, five years ago, Dr. Helmsworth joined this parish, and you're very, very lucky to have him amongst you. He is an icon. Um, he is someone who's internationally renowned, uh, one of the individuals that we look up to as members of the faculty and administration of the University of Cincinnati. I'll tell you a little bit about his life story. Many of you know this much better than I. Uh, he was born in 1915 in Owl Ridge, North Dakota, and, and went to college at Jamestown College, and then to the great medical school at the University of Pennsylvania, where William, Sir William Osler uh, was one of the uh, uh, professors of medicine and also a founder of Johns Hopkins Hospital, where he would go next uh, for his res residency before moving to Cincinnati uh, at Cincinnati General, uh, which is now called University of Cincinnati uh, Medical Center. And his training was in thoracic uh, surgery, um, and he has published some seminal publications and uh, pioneered the development of uh, the heart-lung machine, uh, working with other uh, scientists and physicians, and performed the very first open-heart surgery at uh, Cincinnati Children's Hospital, uh, and one of the earliest of its kind in this country and in the world. Uh, we are really blessed as an institution to be able to call uh, Dr. Helmsworth, the professor of the University of Cincinnati College of Medicine, where he was chairman of thoracic surgery at the University of Cincinnati and Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Um, you know, I go to Church of Redeemer, uh, and uh, today we read Genesis 17. And that's a story I'm sure all of you know about a man called Abram. And uh, Genesis 17, verses uh, 1 through 17, talk about how his name changed at the age of 99. You have one year on that, uh, Abram. <laughs> From Abram to Abraham. And then Sarai, Sarai became Sarah, and he became the father of all nations. And there really is a good parallel between that story and the celebration of you today. Um, you're 100, not 99. And in many ways, you are the father of many, many scores of scientists and physicians, uh, not only in this town, but nationally, um, that were inspired by you. Um, and so your impact and your legacy, your selfless dedication to mankind and the betterment of others uh, is really an inspiration to us and brings credit to the University of Cincinnati. It is therefore my honor to do something that only happens a handful of times each year, to read you a formal commendation conferred upon you by the University of Cincinnati, its Board of Trustees in the state of Ohio. And I'll read it verbatim. Dr. James Helmsworth, 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 upon the felicitous occasion of your 100th birthday, you are to be commended, not only for a life lived long and well, but also for the outstanding contributions to the field of medicine that you have achieved during your life. The University of Cincinnati community, in which you spent the vast majority of your medical career, extends to you our warmest wishes for a happy 100th birthday. Dr. Helmsworth, your indelible mark lives on at the University of Cincinnati College of Medicine. The stature as an academic health center in many ways is built upon your shoulders. Your outstanding career as a pioneering thoracic surgeon ensures your place in medical and University of Cincinnati history. As a co-author of more than 50 pioneering publications, your profound impact started as a member of the team that created the first heart-lung machine, a development that proved to be a major turning point in modern medicine and in our understanding of the heart in general. In 1952, you further sealed your place in history by performing the first open heart surgery at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center, one of the earliest such procedures in our nation and much admired. As a professor at the College of Medicine Department of Surgery, until your retirement 35 years ago, you infused generations of students who followed you with the same kind of passion and hard-won wisdom you possessed so that they could become leading thoracic surgeons in their own right around the world. Your contributions will live on for many generations to come through those students and their students. 
by the authority vested in me by the University of Cincinnati Board of Trustees and the great state of Ohio, I confer upon you this commendation on behalf of a very grateful University of Cincinnati community. Congratulations.